if you were told you must do the CompTIA A+, Network+, Security+, and CCNA before you get into cybersecurity, then you're listening to the same stupid advice that was given to me 20 years ago. But what if I told you that every week on this YouTube channel, I post weekly success stories from all over the world by following advice from this YouTube channel without even doing any CompTIA or CCNA. Instead, they do other certs and training that you may not have even heard of, like the ones I recommended to Josh. So Josh, who's 32 years old, booked a career mentorship call with me last week. He is an electrician, he lives in the US, and he also did a cybersecurity degree from WGU University, which comes with a lot of CompTIA certificates. Yet, he was confused because he followed the conventional wisdom of getting those foundational certificates, yet he felt like he learned nothing. He didn't feel confident enough to even apply to cybersecurity jobs. But the problem is, if he doesn't apply to cybersecurity jobs, he will not gain that confidence that he's after. He needs to be in interviews. He needs to learn how to answer questions on the spot. This is how we gain confidence. So he booked a career mentorship call with me to know what his next move should be. So in order for me to give him the skills, and the confidence that he needs to start applying to cybersecurity job, I compiled the list of lab-based hands-on cybersecurity training where he can actually practice the concepts that he learned instead of just ticking boxes, cramming and passing multiple choice exams. This way he can learn a concept, apply it in a lab, remember those concepts that he learned. The training and certification list that I provided him with are challenging, they will take time, but this is the only way to gain real skill that will open open so many doors and lead to a very lucrative and rewarding career. My first recommendation to him was a platform called Let's Defend. It's full of labs that focus on the defensive technical side of cybersecurity. Their website is a little bit confusing, but what I asked Josh to do was their SOC analyst pathway, because the skills that he will learn there can qualify him to work in a security operation center, which will open so many doors. But Josh told me that his ultimate goal was to work in digital forensics, which is a cyber security specialization where you perform cyber forensic examination as part of an investigation. Yet, I still advise him to follow Let's Defend the SOC Analyst pathway so he can have broad skills that will maximize his chances of landing a cyber security job, even if the job is not directly in forensics. The idea is to give him as many broad marketable skills as possible to maximize his chances of landing a job. The specialization itself is not not really that important in the beginning, so I advised him to be as generic as possible so he can qualify for a larger number of jobs. But then the next question he asked me, is this training recognized? This one drives me crazy. There seem to be this myth circulating around that hiring in cybersecurity is based on ticking boxes. Beginners seem to think that we as hiring manager, we only look at the name of the training or the piece of paper. They think if they show us a piece of paper, then that's all we need to qualify for a job, which couldn't be further from the truth. They also seem to think that the reason why they can't land the cybersecurity job is because they don't have this magical recognized piece of paper. I have no idea who started this idea, but please, please get it out of your head. We most definitely don't look for certain keywords. You are not going to trick a hiring manager by showing them the word CompTIA in your CV. That is not what we look for. Sure, in some job descriptions, we might list some certifications that are nice to have, but please don't ignore the rest of the job description where we list the skills that we need for this job. The skills part of the job description is the most important part. This is what you need to focus on. So yes, Let's Defend is not widely known. However, the skills that you will learn in that training are universal. They apply to every situation and every country. Your situation is not special. You are not a special snowflake. Now the next training that I recommend for Josh surprised him, it was GRC Mastery. There is a huge area in cybersecurity called GRC, which is the non-technical side of cybersecurity. There is so much demand in this area and there was simply no training that can cover your tracks when it comes to GRC. So I created GRC Mastery, which is fully practical, full of hands-on labs and practical assessments that will give you the skills that we need for GRC jobs. But Josh wasn't after a non-technical cybersecurity job. In fact, 
he wanted the complete opposite he wanted to work in digital forensic which is one of the most technical parts of cyber security so why did i recommend grc mastery well josh is an electrician he has never worked in it before so he has zero it experience so in his case getting any cyber security job should be his number one priority he shouldn't focus too much on the specialization in the beginning instead he needs to have the maximum number of skills that will qualify him for the largest numbers of cyber security jobs out there he simply needs to get his foot in the door now there are a lot of cyber security jobs that are generalist in nature so they want you to have more than one skill this is really common for small and medium-sized organizations they will usually want someone with the title information security officer or a cyber analyst where they want you to work with their security service provider they want you to respond to some incidents but they also want you to run some vulnerability scans conduct risk management work with auditor and even run security education awareness campaigns so that's a large number of skills now they don't want you to have deep knowledge in all of these areas but they want you to touch on all of these areas so in order to maximize josh's chance of landing any cyber security job is for him to be a little bit more well-rounded so combining technical security operation center skills and grc skills will put him at an advantageous point this will make him a lot more attractive to an employer than someone who simply just did one track or one pathway this is key especially if you're trying to land your first cyber security job and you don't have any experience now i talked about grc mastery in detail in this video so please check it out now josh's next question was what about blue team level one what about hack the box cdsa both are certifications that i've personally recommended in previous videos are they good should he do these instead well the answer isn't what you think but before we get to that i want to thank the sponsor of this video north pass business north pass business is a password manager ideal for businesses that want to maximize productivity did you know that 50% of development teams have missed deadlines due to issues with accessing IT infrastructure? Well, NordPass makes managing passwords a lot more efficient with easy to configure password policies. In fact, 81% of data breaches are caused by poor passwords. But the good news is with NordPass, you can create strong passwords by default. The other big security problems that businesses struggle with is sharing sensitive sensitive data like passwords, PIN codes, and even credit card information over email. But with NotPass, you can share credential, payment information, and other sensitive information safely and without sacrificing convenience among your teammates. With full and limited rights to ensure members only have access to what they need. But my favorite feature is still the data breach notification feature. This allows you to change any passwords that were compromised in a breach before any damage is done. But best of all, secure your business effortlessly with a three month north pass trial use the code unix guy at northpass.com slash unix guy it's a limited time offer and back to the video so to answer the question which training course is the best you may not like the answer but it is the truth which is it doesn't really matter the reason why i recommend courses like let's defend or hack the box or try hack me is to simply get you out of the mindset of chasing multiple choice based exams and keywords and other stupid courses that don't teach you any Thing. I'm trying to get you to focus on the skills, on the hands-on labs that will actually lead you to a job. The goal is to maximize your chances of landing a cybersecurity job. It's not to collect trophies and keywords and certifications. So the skills that you learn in, in Blue Team Level 1 or Hack the Box or Let's Defend, they're all very similar. So it honestly doesn't matter which one you choose. Pick one and go with it till the end. Now for Josh, I gave him four options to do after he finishes let's defend and grc mastery the first one is try hack me SOC one which is a fantastic training it's a great chance to practice everything that you've learned and strengthen the knowledge that you already have in a practical way the second one is called cyber defenders they have a fantastic security analyst certification that's fully lab based that covers everything that you need to work in a security operation center it's really ideal for someone who want to be a SOC analyst or even a digital forensic analyst the 
the third option was Hack the Box CDSA. Again, it's another phenomenal hands-on practical certification that ticks all the boxes for what I look for in a good training. And the fourth one was Blue Team Level 1, which is a phenomenal hands-on training that again teaches you everything you need to work as a cybersecurity analyst. Now, the biggest question that Josh had that we ended up spending the majority of the consulting call on was at what point should he start applying to cybersecurity job? And how many certs should he do? Should he do all of them? Should he pick one? Should he pick two? Which one should he do first? Well, this is what I told Josh and this is the mindset that I want you to have as well. Once you finish one basic foundational certification, like let's say the Google Cybersecurity Cert or even CompTIA Security Plus, then the plan is to start doing two things. First, immediately pick a hands-on practical cybersecurity training and certification. Don't wait. Start right away. Start whilst you're fresh. Pick any of the trainings that I recommended. It doesn't matter which one. If you're not sure which one to pick, then do them in the order that I specified. But the second thing that you need to do is to start applying to cybersecurity jobs as soon as possible. Yes, you will get rejected, but you also might land a job. You never know. But the idea is as you continue to study, as you do more and more practical hands-on training and as you apply to more and more jobs you will have more confidence you will get more experience in interview settings you will start to know which companies are hiring this way your chances of landing a job will go way up for example let's say you did let's defend and grc mastery and now you're doing try hack me stock one and as you apply to jobs you might get an interview maybe you'll get a job but let's say you get rejected that's fine keep studying pick hack the box this way you will get to go over the same concepts that you learned you might learn something new but more importantly you get to have more projects on your cv the idea is to continue studying and continue applying until you land your dream job i want you to have the winner's mindset don't stop until you get to your goal and it can happen really fast it depends on how much time are you willing to dedicate to it but it also comes down to how bad do you want it how invested are you now josh actually made the classic mistake that i see all beginners make when they're trying to land their first cyber security job which is he was only searching for digital forensics job and he was complaining that there aren't many digital forensics jobs advertised this is not the correct way to look for jobs in fact this is one of the five mistakes that every beginner makes when they try to land their first cyber security job i talked about them in detail in this video so please check it out and i'll see you there